Hello, God, Soul, Spirit, Hope. This is the practitioner here. You asked how I would rid the world of religion. Um, first things first, I'm an agnostic, not an atheist. Um, in my particular uh, situation, I honestly say that I still don't know. Um, I would I would consider myself a Fortean skeptic. I'm still looking for data on both of this. And ironically, I might actually believe in a god, albeit one that um, religion so far has not described, owing to uh, certain uh, extrapolations off M-theory, the most recent evolution in science for theory of everything. Um, apparently there's a fringe group, um, there's a fringe group of physicists who are, um, again, it, within M-theory, who are showing mathematically that it might be physically possible to create a universe. So if that actually turns out to be the case and M-theory gets proven by the Large Hadron Collider, I will be becoming religious myself purely for that reason. Um, but that's a side note. Like I said, I'm an open-minded and I don't know if my fellow atheists are. And actually, though, uh, most of my subscribers are atheists, and I'm pretty sure they would f uh, follow the same uh, tactics that I would use. So that's irrelevant, but I just thought you'd like to know that uh, science is actually um, showing that it might well be possible that there is a god um, in some new ways. But, you know, that evolution might actually be happening in the process, too. So, but anyway, that's a subject for another video. So, like I said, if, if you want to watch that, um, feel free to PM me and we can talk about that till we're blue in the face. Just purely for the hell of it. Um... I disagree with a large chunk of how um, some of the tactics have been used in current atheistic uh, full, um, methods. Richard Dawkins has crossed the line, in my uh, opinion, a couple of times. Um, I mean, for the most part, he's trying, but um, I would attempt, I would do what Dawkins is attempting to do, which is um, po post a book, uh, post a book with logical, rational arguments um, using scientific data and the like. Um, or other data for disproof, uh, you know, for disproof by pointing out, um, you know, by pointing out uh, inaccuracies in, uh, by pointing out inaccuracies or flaws and that uh, in the logical construct or in the, um, in the arguments of religion, I would debunk it on that grounds and then I would show logically that most evidence would therefore, eco uh, would, would match up to the, um, larger point of uh, the scientific evidence or other evidence of, you know, anthropological, what have you, is pointing to a universe without a god as opposed to with to, uh, to with a god. Now remember, I'm an agnostic, so this is how I would do it. I'm not sure how atheists, um, I know that most of my subscribers who are uh, agnostic atheists would do it that way. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, there are a couple of problems, and I agree with you, that, um, again, you said, crossing over the line. And this is where I want to distinguish between my suggestions for how to do this and Richard Dawkins' suggestions, say, in The God Delusion. For example, Richard Dawkins uses a, um, an argument which says, um, look at the history of religion, that it's been uh, useful for torture and all this sort of thing. And then he says that Stalin was not led by, um, that Stalin and Hitler were not led by atheism. Problem with his theory and I'm and I as an agnostic I'm helping you with this argument because I want to make I want to make it perfectly clear to atheists where they are crossing the line now of course if I see you guys using your logic I will also call you on it and and give that data to the atheists because like I said um, I'm an agnostic I demand level playing field and proper logic from both sides of the issue um, when it comes to this sort of discussion the first thing I would have to say is as follows um, Stalin was uh, Stalin, yes, was a madman. However, he was a fundamental. However, he firmly believed in the communist philosophy. He um, saw religion as a political problem against the state, against his own um, mentality, if you will. And yes, he was a madman. He misinterpreted the communist ideal. He killed. He sacked thousands of churches, killed thousands of priests, sent them to concentrate, uh, sent them to gulags, which were the um, Russian equivalent of concentration camps. And the point is, what's interesting is the fact that, um, and this is what uh, Dawkins and a large chunk of other prominent atheists forget, is that they have, um, is that they have, is that he set a precedent for every single communist leader after him. Mao actually followed similar pr tactics um, with the Cultural Revolution because he thought they were anti-security of the state. And to his credit, Mao, unlike Stalin, was actually um, a lot more open-minded for the first bit. And he allowed um, foreign cultural ideas, Western ideas, Buddhism, to remain, um, despite the fact that he came in as a communist leader for the better part of 10 years' worth of his dictatorship, until a couple of university students tried to rebel against him, and then the Cultural Revolution came about. So. You see my point? Mao was a little bit more open, but he, he was doing it from a political standpoint and thus an actual twist. Um, 
Nazism, Stal uh, Dawkins is half right. Hitler himself was not actually guided by Nietzschean atheistic philosophy. Nietzsche, um, Nietzsche did promote um, Rise of the Superman, but only a small, a very small intellectual wing of the Nazi party actually corrupted this philosophy to justify Hitler's actions. Hitler himself was a heavy anti-intellectual. He discouraged both Christianity and any and and many other large forms of intellectual thought because he couldn't comprehend it. He just he was an artist who tried to do postcards. He did he was not an intellectual man. The the only re the intellectual wing used the atheistic philosophy of, the, of Nietzsche at the time to make themselves comfortable with it so they could stomach what Hitler was doing. It was the only way they could maintain any sort of sanity or any sort of stomaching what Hitler was doing. Otherwise, they would have gone insane and tried to rebel against him. You know, it was their rationalization. As um, my father used to say, man is not a rational animal, it is a rationalizing animal. But that's another kettle of fish for a side note. So my point is that atheistic, atheistic philosophy has been twisted to do corrupt ends. The same has happened with religion in history, and is still happening now. Um, minority examples of this are fundamentalist Christians who would be willing to kill abortion doctors, and um, and so you know, and see as an agnostic, that's why I'm calling you guys on this, but I'm also calling Dawkins and others on their. My point being is that um, Dawkins has no right to call you on the history of that in the process of debunking religion. You guys also have no point of calling the, the atheists on that either. So you see my point is that, that the particular tactic which Dawkins used to say, like, look at the tortures and the history of religion and that as a means for debunking religion is out of line for Dawkins. It's also out of line for you to use the same tactics of pointing at Stalin and the like unless they bring it up first and only to show that the uh, arguing line is flawed. Note that, okay? If, if both of you actually try to use this as a serious arguing line, you are both in, at fault here. And so... Here's how I would recommend. Here's how I would recommend strategy. And again, this is the reason I'm, I'm mentioning this on both sides, is to. And I'm not saying why religion would be why it would be better with or without religion. I'm trying to point out the flaws in the logical argument here. So here's what I would suggest. And I'm hoping that you'll actually send me uh, info on this because um, now some athe like I said, some atheists, um, at least in the uh, in uh, creation versus evolution. Um, Debates are doing this, uh, you know, and, and most of them are my subscribers now, and I'm their subscribers. But um, what you have, and even there's even f fellow religious people, fellow Christians who um, who take a closer look at the Bible and have actually um, done some closer reading. And but anyway, that's a side note. What they do is they take a look at the scientific evidence, and they take a look at based on all the data, which premise is more likely. They then take a look at flaws in arguments, including critical thinking fallacies and that sort of thing, debunking one side or the other. And that would how be a traditional debate would go. And that's how I would recommend that you handle the outer public. Consider this. The world, at one, uh, the human race at one point, or the Western world at any rate, thought the world was flat. But given enough time and pressure, and given enough work by science and the like, we were able to determine that the Earth was not flat, that the Earth orbited the Sun, you know, and, 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 there's, you know, very few minorities now who still believe this sort of, you know, that the, that the Earth is flat or that the Sun orbits the Earth. But the point is that they were, the tactic they used to get rid of it, uh, you know, to get rid of these particular false ideals, which religion was espousing at the time, was to just simply keep at it with logic, science, and eventually they were able to convince them, the majority of people using pure logic that these ideas were abandoned by the church and church authorities. Um, Pope John Paul II eventually accepted evolution vis-a-vis -vis the same line of argument. I would recommend in order to debunk religion, this is to atheists, uh, that, you know, and for this debate, that you just keep doing the exact same thing. You look at the evidence, and if the evidence eventually points to a god, then accept that. If the evidence points to a lack of a god, then accept that. And just keep working with evidence and keep, you know, assessing new evidence that comes in and just see where everything's at. The current state of the evidence right now would indicate God is kind of indetermined because of the uh, recent stuff with M theory. Evolution is pretty well, I would have to say, pretty well proven based on the current la evidence. And we just keep the, I say we just keep the talks up, and if religion turns out to be wrong, we just keep uh, working with scientific evidence and logic until um, the majority of people are convinced. That's all I have to say about it. This is the practitioner, ag an agnostic, signing off. Remember, sides, both of you stay logical. Toodles.